it's a sad day indeed. Uh -huh. As stealthy assassin, our venerable patriarch of a whole herd of reindeer of caribou, has passed away today. Um, he was much beloved by many of the guests, and I wish I could find out how many, but um, no more stats anymore. Died of old age, 16.3 years old, so he lived a full, wonderful life, but uh, unfortunately Stealthy Assassin is no more. Uh, let's just find out exactly how many... 13. Actually, 16 siblings. Sophie Assassin had 16 children. I don't know why this list on the right for Ari has 13 siblings. And this one has 16 siblings. Oh, but including Ari, so it's 17 children. And, uh, yeah, no more Stealthy Assassin, so, I'm sorry. Sorry, buddy. Um, anyways, let's get moving. Um, as you can see, I've done some work on the North American Otter Habitat. Huh? I've added some foliage. I'm enjoying this. I've also added this, uh, lovely sign board. I, I, I like the format. I like, uh, the way that this looks. It's not taking itself too seriously because we don't think our zoo is going to take itself too seriously. We want to encourage the kids to learn more about wildlife and whatever. And right down at the bottom, I've got three sponsors. So if you want to be a sponsor of the North American Otter Exhibit, just let me know. First three comments saying, hey, I want to sponsor the otters. And then boom, you can sponsor the otters. And I'll put your name here in this... Um, Zoo is on Steam, so not only will they see it on YouTube, but they will see it on Steam too, anybody that downloads it at all. So, yeah. Also, um, I've got some advertising signage here. So if you, uh, if you want to help me out with some advertising, like, it, 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 it can advertise brands, things, uh, suggestions, uh, things in the zoo to advertise or suggestions outside the zoo to advertise by all means let me know and uh so yeah so there's that i've expanded the boardwalk quite a bit because we got four new i purchased four new otters um and so they needed a little bit more space because there's a lot actually there's actually quite a lot of water and not a lot of land but uh we've got a whole bunch of lemurs uh duh, lemurs i love lemurs but these are otters and we have a baby otter we have Francisco. Actually, no. You know what? Let's change this around. Public name. You guys get to name the baby otter. The first North American otter born in our zoo. I think he's a cutie little pup, but hey, that's just me. So yeah, I expanded the, the wetlands. Oh boy. Sometimes zooming is really slow. Um, yeah, I've expanded the wetlands all the way here. The, the, the line used to kind of be like here. I've expanded it out this way. And we've added a, a restaurant because people were a little bit hungry. Um, so I've added donuts and coffee. And if you are Canadian at all, you know exactly what I mean by donuts and coffee. So there's gonna be like a waterfall out here and this is gonna be this is gonna be good we got like a, a deck i was going for cottage like muskoka country cottage with this but uh we ended up sort of getting like mission style ranch instead i even tried to get for like the hipped roofs and things but it um like this, the hip drip, but there's glitching and it doesn't work and it, yeah. I'm not finished with it, but uh, for now, that will do. Because I need to record another episode. So I think today, I think today what we're going to do, there we go, I was in free look mode. I think today we're going to work on facility having significant effect on the guests. Is that, which one was that? Why did I just close that? And why is that the wrong color? That frustrates me. Alright. 
Bubba da ba 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 ba. Which facility is it? Is it? Is it this facility? Nope. Is it this facility? Nope. That shouldn't really be having much of an effect. Ah, it's this facility. It's still going at 10 meters. Okay. That's okay, because very shortly, one of our mechanics will be researching... Actually, we do have wind turbines, and I could replace this with a wind turbine, but um, a wind turbine indoors doesn't really make sense. So I think we're going to go with um, solar cells right on the roof. But yeah, most of my stuff, most of my time has been building uh, plants and things like this. But yeah, so that's that. But I think today I want to start the, the bones of a... Um, of this, this exhibit. So I think we're gonna start with the, the train station. And I think we're gonna go, I don't really know what style we're gonna go, but this is like Sedona country, so we're gonna use a lot of lovely little uh, Arizona colors. So let's, uh, let's get this started, shall we?
All right, we are starting to run out of money. So just in order to make sure that things don't completely, you know, completely tank, um, I'm gonna let the game run for another couple of years right now. But this is kind of the basics. I know this looks extremely symmetrical, extremely boring, but one of the great things um, about Pueblo architecture or Pueblo revival architecture, uh, which this style is, um, is that we get a lot of really cool, oh, oh, Oh boy, public name. Oh, Francisco. Um, is that there's a lot of nooks and crannies and real like outcroppings and whatever. And we're going to bring a lot of these purples and blues and reds back into the color scheme as well. So it's not going to look nearly as washed out as it is. And there's going to be nice wood elements. It's, it's going to be really, really nice, I hope. But first of all, let's, let's figure out exactly how, how little buddy. There's, there's no way for you to escape. How did you escape? Did somebody like walk in? Oh, no, that's the wrong thing. Oh, I see. I see. But how can you, oh boy. Well, that's a thousand bucks I really could have used. Apparently you can escape up here too. Okay, well, for now, Francisco, um, or public name. And again, reminder, if you want, oh, hey, happy unicorn. If you want to sponsor the otters, let me know. If you want to name the the, the cheeky little otter formerly known, as formerly known as Francisco, by all means, let me know. So yeah, once we get, once we get this done, um, this is gonna be the pronghorn and, um, an American bison thing with Red Rock Country. It's, it's, yeah, I'm excited. Yes, low on cash, I'm aware. Thank you, game, for telling me that I'm spending too much on foliage. But, uh, yeah, this, this needs to go up. I mean, I spent $22,000. It's my, my building technique is probably not, oh, geez, enough with the low on cash looks. My building technique is probably not the best. I tend to delete a lot rather than just move and then and then save them for for other pieces later on but um yeah yeah oh well that is how i play the game and there's nothing wrong with it you can't tell me otherwise i mean you can but uh you know i wouldn't tell you that you're playing a game wrong so why would you tell me that i'm playing a game wrong just because somebody doesn't play the game the way that you want or it's not what you think is the ideal optimal way that doesn't mean that they're doing it wrong guys um i've seen some comments on other videos that oh no this that's not how you build an enclosure that's not how you build a habitat and i'm like piss off i'm sorry i, I don't i don't want to swear and get too angry but like it's not really any of your business how somebody else plays the game so just play the game your way play your game your way and let them play their game their way and everything will be just fine. But yes, we've got the train running. Actually, is am, am I spending... How much money am I spending on the train? Ride running costs zero. I'm not spending any money on the train. I'm spending $722 every year on scenery. Okay. Actually, are we... Have the mechanics researched anything? No. I've, I've got all the vets. I researched everything. Let's start dealing with, um, I don't know, Bertitellosis. I don't know what this is. Uh, I mean, I know it's a, it's a disease, but I don't know particularly which one. So, um, but yeah, hopefully we, our guys don't get this. This is one of the things. I don't want the, the, um, the paint swatches to replace every time I, uh, to go back to default every time I click out of a particular, um, every time I click out of a, out of a screen, like every time I leave, um, construction, it shouldn't reset everything to their default color palette. I should be able to select a color palette and just have that, you know, like stick around. 
I, I, I can't be the only one that wants that. I mean, that seems to me... I don't know, that just seems good to me. Like, it's, it's less clicking. And any game that has less clicking in order to get to, to get it to do what you want it to do is a good game in my book. There we go. We got the, the lovely steps. And these step downs are a classic feature of, um, of the style of architecture of this Pueblo revival. I'm trying to remember, like, what's the what's the appropriate height? Is it like how? Am I saying that this is two meters? Because two meters seems a lot. Like two meters is my height. And I want people to like be able to see over these. So I might actually have to drop the level of all of these once we actually start getting guests. Because like, how tall are guests? Guests, okay, two meters, they will not be able to see over two meters. But if I drop this down to one meter and a half, yeah, yeah, I wish there were some meter and a half pieces. So that means all of this gets dropped down by half a meter. There we go. Which means all of these. Yeah, so the wall top is just slightly too big for the effect that we want. There we go. I do love how it kind of like undulates and curves and, and things like that. It's very cool. I do not like how the curvature makes these things happen. I'm going to have to put like columns there and I don't particularly want the columns. That's okay. Now we are still losing money. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to fix that off camera and then we'll get right back into a little bit of a, uh, of a time lapse.
all aboard, ladies and gentlemen, the Connor Zoo Express. We have left the main central station and we are en route through what will eventually become a tunnel, en route to Red Rock Country. Now we just set the station and the station is not finished, but I've been working on this for several hours today and I just wanted to get on a bright, shiny locomotive. The interior is not finished. Uh, much of the exterior is not finished, but this does just kind of show you what, you know, the approach is going to be like. And it occurs to me that the approach isn't particularly meaningful right now because there's no animals. There's no animals, there's no scenery, there's no anything. But. And the inside. Yeah, the interior is garbage. Not gonna lie. The interior is garbage. But, oh, we're back here now. I thought we'd stick with the train. But this is kind of what it's gonna look like. Um, yeah, we've got some, some vendors over here. We've got the layers, we've got the step down side wall things. Um, I like it. I don't like how the crossing of the walls creates this kind of kind of an effect in many many places but overall i like it i'm also not liking the fact that these metal beams on these windows are not nearly as vibrant as intense uh, a color as i would have wanted them to be but that is is fine but this is the overall aesthetic this is the overall feel um I'm debating, do we want to put like little planters and cactuses? I think we do. Um, because you know what? I don't actually know what's in the North American grassland or deserts things. We've got some barrel cacti, some reeds. Okay, you know what? Let's go through foliage type. Let's go through bushes. We've got salt cedar bushes and sage bushes. Oh, salt cedar. That's a nice little. That's a nice purple. We've got manzanita bushes, desert ironwood, desert ironwood trees apparently count as a bush. I think we're gonna get to get a lot of this color, a uh, creosote bush, and a white sage bush. Okay, those are uh, those are fine trees. We've got Joshua trees, coconut palms, and that's it in the soap trees okay that's apparently a tree we've got prickly pear cacti we've got organ park cacti saguaro yeah i don't know if any of these should really be planted in like barrels and planters and whatever we've got nettles and we've got golden rods who keeps escaping okay this guy this guy what Like he, he's, no, okay, okay, there we go. Um, these two little things. And like, I don't, I don't know what he's doing, but, oh, he's just walking right under. Oh, cause he's smaller than everybody else. So he's not, okay, okay, okay. I see, I see, I see. Still North America, biome, temperate rocks oh yeah rocks aren't flowers um yeah so let's get off of this let's just get a small temperate rock let's just slide that in there yeah that should prevent buddy from Making a big noise, trying to be a big man someday. Okay, well you're not actually in the habitat, so... I don't know. Because apparently you know you're on the pathway. Which is good! That you're... Oh, you're within the habitat, but on the pathway. Facility is having a negative impact on guests. Yes. Have we... Oh! Oh, classic swine fever. Okay, so we've reached classic swine fever. That's cool. I'm just doing this because I have nothing better to do with my people. Is this... Nope, that's the New World theme. We are still working on power. Nope, nope, we've got power. 
Okay, so instead, let's... There we go. Since this is having... Wait, why is this having such a negative effect? It shouldn't be that. It should, it should be this. Okay, so bye-bye you. And facilities. I'm almost like, you know what, our solar panels... Like, I wish the solar panels could be on the roofs. Like, you know, where they're supposed to be. Because right now, we're going to put a solar panel in... In the middle of, of a cottage. And I don't know if that makes any sense. But that's what the game allows me to do. So... I'm just going to do that. There we go. And now we need to path it up so that the guys can actually can actually uh, repair it. And wait, what? Why isn't this? There we go. Does it look fine from the inside? Yes, it looks fine from the inside, and that is all I care about. Oh yeah, the inside of this place. I hung a canoe. Um. Yeah, so this is our our Pueblo thing. I'm not, I mean, I like it, but at the same time, I don't, if that makes any sense. Like, I'm wondering, I don't know. Power source is under, okay. It does need to be outside. It does need to be outside, but it doesn't, um, Guests don't dislike it. But I wanted it to be out here. So maybe we build a solar panel on... Yeah. I don't know what happened, but my planets have just crashed. Um, which has never happened to me before. So, you know, we're just going to leave the transformer in there. We're not gonna we're not gonna deal with any of that. But yeah, Pueblo. It doesn't look particularly good in the sunset. I'm thinking maybe if we get more red rock, maybe more trim, but more little touches, because right now it just feels barren. Um I love the architectural like details with the different levels of roofs and, and everything like that. I like that. I like that a lot. But oh what what do you guys think? There's something that just feels missing about it. Is it people? Is it plants? Is it... I don't know. You guys tell me. You guys tell me. Because this is going to be the end of this episode. Um, if you like what you see, please like, please subscribe, please comment. And I will see... Have a fantastic day. And I mean that. If you want to sponsor the otters, let me know. If you want to name one of the otters, let me know. Um... And if you have any suggestions about what to do about the Sedona station, um, also, let me know. Have a fantastic day, everybody, and I'll see you all next time in Carzu, Toronto. Bye.